Duke is a bad guy. Harry is Meg's new dog guard and follow every footstep she orders in New Summit. Prince Harry is to join a discussion focused on online misinformation just two hours after Meghan Markle takes part in another summit. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are coming out in force next Tuesday as they are both taking part in two different discussion panels. On November 9 at 8 p.m. GMT, Harry will join an event called the Internet Lie Machine. Organized by Wired magazine as part of its Rewired 2021 summit, this panel will focus on misinformation and the real cost it has on individuals, communities and societies. The description of the event read, what is the real cost of a lie on the internet, to ourselves, our communities, our societies. As social media algorithms reward shock value over reality, as the line between fact and fiction weakens every day, as media propaganda and online hatred run rampant, we must ask, how did we get here and how do we get out of this mess? We'll hear from an expert authority on the rise of digital propaganda, a foremost civil rights advocate who understands the collision between misinformation and racial justice, and a global leader who is taking on misinformation in pursuit of a new era of truth. Harry, introduced as the co-founder of Artual, will be among the three speakers at the event, joined by Rene D. Resta, technical research manager at the Stanford Internet Observatory, and Rashad Robinson, co-chair of the Aspen Commission on Information Disorder and president at Color of Change. Harry and Meghan have previously collaborated with Stanford University and Color of Change given their interest in safer and more humane online communities while tackling fake news and misinformation. In August last year, Harry had a public conversation with Mr. Robinson as he and Meghan backed the Stop Hate for Profit initiative launched by Color of Change. This project was born to hold social media companies into account for the hate present on their platforms. Last year, Harry also mentioned meeting with experts at Stanford to deepen his and Meghan's understanding of online platforms and how to create more humane web communities, one of the cornerstones of Artuel's work. Moreover, the Duke is serving as one of the 14 commissioners on the Aspen Commission on Information Disorder. As announced in March, the Commission is conducting a study on the state of American misinformation and disinformation. Harry's attendance at the Rewired panel is taking place just two hours after Meghan will tune into the online summit organized by the New York Times Deal Book. On November 9 at 6 p.m. GMT Meghan will take part in a 30-minute long panel titled Minding the Gap. She will be joined by co-CEO and President of Aerial Investments and Vice Chair of Starbucks Melody Hobson, with whom the Duchess will discuss how women can reach economic and professional parity. The description of the event read, two groundbreaking figures join us to discuss top-down solutions, and reflect on how their shared experiences influenced their thinking about creating opportunities for others. Both the topics of online misinformation and gender equality are close to the Sussex's hearts. Since the launch of their foundation, Meghan and Harry have collaborated with, among others, the Center for Humane Technology and took part in dialogues that create the conditions for safer, more compassionate online communities, as described on Artul's website. In an op-ed penned by the Duke last August, Harry also revealed the Sussexes have been in touch with business leaders and marketing executives regarding social media platforms, which he accused of stoking a crisis of hate. In the article, he urged these leaders to reconsider their funding and support given through advertisement to online platforms and use them as leverage to demand meaningful change. Similarly, Meghan and Harry have dedicated much of their time to the cause of gender equality. Prior to joining the royal family in 2018, Meghan was already an advocate for women's rights and collaborated with UN Women among other organizations. She continued her work on this issue even after becoming a senior royal, taking part, for example, in a roundtable conversation on women's rights in October 2019 with youth ambassadors from One Young World. Last month, she penned an impassioned open letter to U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer in which she advocated for paid family leave. Last but not least, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are doing their part to fight climate change. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Archul organization announced on its website Tuesday that they intend to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2030. 
As global leaders convene for COP26 to commit to solutions for our climate crisis, all of us at Archul, led by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, share our pledge towards a more sustainable future by becoming net zero by 2030, a post on Archul's site reads. Our co-founders, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have a long-standing commitment to the planet, both together and prior to their union, with global projects and partnerships dating back over a decade.